so you might be wondering what we're doing here piling up all these rocks um i'm going down to uh, fix a creek bank that's um kind of a yard that's kind of washing away into the creek so i'm gonna get up a big load of rocks and take down there and dump out and try to place them up and down the creek bank and then um dump some dirt in on top so hopefully it don't wash out too bad these rocks might keep it from getting worse um see if we can't fix that we'll try to load up the dump truck with the excavator I don't have a thumb so that might be uh an accident waiting to happen i don't know hope i don't turn anything up but we're gonna give it a shot anyway just throw some of these rocks in the back of it or in the back of the dump truck and haul them down there and dump them then we'll take the excavator down and uh try to place them up and down the creek bank best we can and fill in might end up having to take the tractor down there and throw a couple of buckets of dirt in the top there where it's just slipping off see if we can't make it uh, a little better all right let's get the dump truck and uh try to load it up all right so got the international um i'm gonna take it down load up some rock it's um it's been sitting here for maybe two weeks hasn't been started it is 61 degrees right now so i can't do all these fancy um go buy a junk piece of equipment left out in the woods and start it up for y'all so um i'll do the next best thing and start up the old international so will it start i don't know we're gonna try though
right so here's what we're dealing with this uh, you can see this bank is slide away kind of see it but it used to go way on out past this these uh, railroad ties were actually stepped back just a little bit so the creeks down here kind of hard to see for this bush but it's washing this bank out under here and causing this yard to to sink so it's kind of going downhill now when used to it was actually pretty level and was a little bit wider than this so we're going to put some big rocks down in here and uh, fill some of this in so kind of see a little bit of this is washed off we'll try to ease some of them rocks down there with the excavator if we can and uh, keep this from getting any worse Also over here by this culvert, um, this keeps washing out by it. I don't know if you can tell or not, but the creek kind of curves right here like, all, like a 90 degree turn. And there is a big rock or two in here, but it's still just somehow, I guess this culvert eating out and under itself there, or chewing out from under itself with the water. But I'm gonna try to put a few rocks in this and see if we can't keep it from getting any worse. because. I don't know if you can tell or not, but this is sinking quite a bit. And over in there on the other side of that cover, so let's see what we can do for it. Hey Hamlet. Oh this. Hey Hamlet.
if y'all heard that on the camera or not, but it sounded like a jet flying over pretty fast. I was trying to catch it, but I didn't see it. So I don't know if uh, the camera caught any of it or not, but pretty cool though. important this is hopefully not too important so I know I've needed a set of tracks for a while but you know try and get all the mileage I could out of them but this uh, popped out and there was already one or two missing so I believe it's time to uh, bite the bullet and order a set of tracks so uh, probably do that Monday. This is Saturday, so I don't know what will be open or nothing. This is Easter weekend, so probably not a lot uh, in business today. So try to find something Monday, but I'm going to go ahead and uh, ease through this a little bit and see if I can't do some more work. But yeah, that popped out on me a second ago. You can see this side's got one missing too. All right, let's get back on it. 
look at all the ants. I knocked this thing loose there. When this trip, when this popped off, it was right here in this curve. So I backed up blindly and clipped the edge of this uh, flare bed or flare box, and uh, yeah, knocked it over. So we'll piece that back together before I leave. But let's get some more of these rocks moved.
picked up most of what I dumped out here. There's a few little rocks left in that. I'll smooth some of that up. So you can see where I kept going around here, I kind of squished this down a little bit more. So put a couple little ruts in it. So we'll have to uh, address that. But yeah, we got quite a few rocks over the hill now. I believe this will help solid it up quite a bit so we'll just keep dumping dirt on top here I don't know if I finish it today or not if I have enough dirt but I'm gonna go try to get some here in just a second but uh, I will smooth the top of this up and like I say fix that over there and uh, put these railroad ties back I don't know if they're gonna keep them or not but I'll uh, I'll put them back where they go here got all the dogs out here with me so over here yesterday I pushed well, I'll show you so yesterday I put uh, big rock under this culvert and I moved that rock and then I brought this one and uh, shoved over there you'll see in that video where I pushed it down the road or drug it down the road there but trying to keep this corner from washing out you can probably see better now what I was talking about with the creek comes down through here and then turns right here so it makes a real sharp turn and this has been real bad to wash out here. So I'm trying to prevent that. But yeah, we're getting there. Go get some more dirt. Fill in back there. Hey, Bandit. Hey, Sass. So this rock fell off, I guess is close to a year ago i don't know we dug this bank out split that rock off our that's that's one of my older videos with uh wedge and feathers i think that's what it's called yeah wedges and feathers drill a hole in the rock so you can see the little holes we drilled then you put the feathers down in there and then you drive the wedge down in there and it'll split that rock off our that's pretty neat and um so anyway we dug out from under this rock a little bit and it finally loosened up and fell well there's actually two rocks they were stacked i took the one down uh yesterday you can see where i drug it through the yard and uh i'm gonna get this one today clean up the rest of this mess and uh i'll take some of this uh, good it's like a lot of sand rock in this uh so i think that'd be good to dump over that bank be should hopefully uh, not wash away too bad all right so let's get this uh stuff here cleaned up and out of the way and then we'll get the excavator fired up and get that big rock out of here
we'll get a rock down off this bank to lay over here. I don't know if it'll work or not, but when I pull the rock on and let it fall, I'm hoping it'll break. Uh, maybe it will, maybe it won't. I might move it that size. I don't know it's pretty big, but I don't know if it'll even break or not, but I'm going to give it a shot. So we we'll pull a big rock down off of there and lay over here on the ground and we'll see what happens. try to drop it a time or two more and see what it does and I probably end up having to try to drag it down there like I did the other one let's see what it does here
rocks out of here. The ditch probably needs cleaned out more eventually. That's going to wash down, so I didn't do the best job on it. I'll dress the yard up a little bit later. Got to get a lot of rocks out, so I got to rake a lot of that. But um, on the creek where we filled it in, I'll show you with the drone. Um, it's all filled in. I smoothed out some of the yard, but there's still got to be some more fuel dirt brought down there and uh, put in there to make it actually uh, a little bit nicer, and that way you can sow grass on it stuff good. But we we'll get that in there, packed down a little bit, and then put some good soil on top of it. But uh, I believe it's got taken care of where it shouldn't uh, wash out um, like it had been anymore. So we'll look at this. So there's the bank that we dug off of. The rocks fell off from up, they like right in there in the middle. And then I guess it just washed out enough blow on me. Drop down, but they're gone now anyway. So we'll go in here and look at um, what we've done with the uh, creek down here. See how it looks. So see all the rocks we put in there. It, should uh, should hold up a lot better now. That looks pretty good. I'm not some of the railroad ties over the hill, but they was getting pretty rotted. I think he's going to just cut them up and burn them or get rid of them. But I tried to raise that up a little bit right there. It was. Uh, Kind of sinking. See, there's quite a bit of rock over there, and right there were on that side of the railroad ties. There, it's probably another foot or two wider than it was now, so that should help. So put these rocks right here, or this big rock right here, at the end of the driveway. Um, that was starting to sink pretty good, so put a little bit of dirt on top of it. Probably come back and put more kind of right there on the, the left side of that railroad tie and raise it up. That way you can scoot the railroad tie on closer to the creek and get a little more room to park. That's where they park at. So the culvert, I yeah, threw a couple of rocks under it there. Got one kind in the way right there, but I believe it'll be all right. I'll move it later on if I need to. And then uh, here where it's the bend of the creek, put that that big rock. And uh, this one was already there. I just kind of plucked it out of the bank and scooted it down, and made room for that one. So uh, we'll bring some more dirt and put it on top of that when I get some uh, some more field dirt to bring. Now they're in no hurry to get it finished, so um, just get a good start on it, and it looks pretty good now, so that should help. But we'll fill that in, and that will raise that up a little bit. So yeah, that's that's uh, quite a bit better than it was. So from up here, you can see kind of it was sort of rounded out behind this uh, behind the home here and um, that side where we filled it in it was actually washed out pretty good so that makes it look a little more even from above here so I think we're heading the right direction so we'll put a little more feel on top of that eventually and uh, yeah it'll look good all right let's uh let's get on to something else now mm -hmm. 